Hi, my name is Alan Welter and today I'm going to give you some advice and some tips on fixing your Samsung HDTV if it's got a clicking noise and if it's turning on or not turning off uh, I'll give you some advice. Uh, first of all I want to tell you I'm not an electrical engineer or a soldering expert but I have done some of that and, uh, and I'm going to give you some advice on the research I've made over the last month to, to be able to fix my TV. My TV started clicking when I started, started to, you know, tried to turn it on and it wouldn't turn on. Sometimes it would click 20 or 30 times and then it would turn on, but a week later it just didn't turn on anymore. Um, and there was some distortion on the television. The last few times I turned it on I realized I may be doing some damage. So anyhow, I did a little research and uh, I was going to, it's out of warranty, so I was going to call a tech to come out and change the power board. That's what they told me it was and they gave me a number and all that. And it was going to be over $350. And, um, and I did a little research and I found out the problem is with these capacitors that cost two bucks fifty cents, three bucks each. And uh, my research showed me, and you can do your own research on eBay. I mean, on eBay has it, YouTube has it. A lot of people explain what the problem is, but your TV will have a specific, its own problems. Okay, let me just tell you that. Everybody said something and realized it was a different capacitor that went off or something else, but it, in the end, it was a capacitor. Okay. Now. Um, if you do have a Samsung TV and you've got the clicking noise, just turn it off and, uh, and don't play with it. If it's under warranty, I'd advise you go get yourself uh, you know, a tech, or call them up and let them change it and you'll just spend a few 20, 50 bucks, whatever, for the guy to come out, maybe 100 bucks and you're done. I'd advise you to do that instead of doing it this way if, you, if you're not fully sure that you can do this. Um, it's, it will take a little expertise to, to take, it, take these capacitors off and um, here's, my, here's my tips. Um, I opened up the board, I opened up all the TV and I found out these capacitors uh, weren't the ones that my research showed me they were. Um, and I even looked at the specific television that, you know, for my TV and I still didn't get the right capacitors. When I opened it up they were the wrong the wrong capacitors were burned out. And how you can tell, I don't know if you can see it from the video here, these capacitors have, have a positive side and a negative side. And you'll see on the side there's a negative here on one of them. And you know they're burned when the top is sort of uh, vaulted or they're not flat, okay? The top is a little, a little uh, ovalish. So uh, I realized these are the two capacitors that went bad. In my case, they're the 2200 uh, microfarad and 10 volts. Now the way to fix them is to get online at a reputable place. I went to MCM Electronics and found out these capacitors, very cheap, but they're the best quality. Uh, make sure um, if you get them, don't get them for the exact same voltage, okay? Go one up. So in my case, these were 10 volts. I got 16 volts instead, and that's actually the problem. I think they're they're mistaking these and they're burning out because the voltage isn't right on them. In any case, if it says 2200 uh, microfarads, get exactly 2200 microfarads. Make sure that it's nothing different, okay? But go up one one voltage. Like like I said, if it says 10 volts, go up to 16. If it says 15, go up to 20 or 25. If it says 25 volts, go up to 30, 35, etc. You get my point. And make sure they're, they're 105 degrees Celsius uh, high temperature uh, capacitors. Okay? These things will cost you maybe three bucks at the most. A um, couple tips you're going to need a soldering iron, you're going to need obviously uh, you know, a Phillips head and uh, get yourself one of these, also long ones, because your TV may, may not. You, you, you can't go short on them. You, you probably will need one long for a couple, a couple of these screws. Uh, the trick is to make sure that you don't use a lot of heat with your soldering iron on the back of the board when you open the whole thing up. Obviously you'll be able to tell which capacitors are back, uh, bad, but uh, make sure that um, when you take these out you don't use a lot of heat trying to take them out. Okay, Use a little pressure pulling them out from the back of the board and when you use your soldering iron, make it just a little, couple little touches and 
uh, make sure that the heat takes off the solder on each of the points and you'll be able to pull it out nicely okay and when you put them back uh, make sure you use you're using some of the, uh, the your resin or rosin uh, soldering flux on the back and you're just gonna have just a couple of little touches and it'll, it'll solder in the back don't forget to clean it up nicely um, very important the back of the board will tell you which was positive and which which side was negative but uh, my advice is take a picture of the board just in case you forget what it looked like and uh, make sure you know what the, where the negative side is and the positive side is. Like I said, the side here will tell you what, where the negative side is, okay? And that's it. Um, in my case, I had two of these. Went bad. I put them up for five bucks, six bucks, plus the shipping expense, and I just saved myself 350 bucks. Good luck to you all, and I hope this helped. Bye-bye. Thank you.